One of the big complaints about Transys is that there's no automatic output reporting as there is with a lot of other software tools. If you run eQuest and do a building model, you're going to get thousands and thousands of pages of, of output documentation. And Transys doesn't give you any by default. But it occurred to us in developing Transys 18 that while there's not necessarily anything simulation-wide that we can do, the things that you tend to want to know about at the component level don't change very much. So we came up with this idea of a simulation summary report. And if you select a component and then click on this little icon right here, this is add a report for this component, you'll get a, a little tag there. Then when I run my simulation again, it's going to look exactly the same as it did before. But now if I go back to the directory that contains my project file, you'll notice that a number of other files have been written. The one I want to point you towards is the SSR file. And if you open that again with any old text editor, you'll see it has stuck an entry into a file, a text file, to summarize some things about this particular component. It tells you what the rated volumetric flow rate and uh, power consumption are, how much power the thing consumed over the course of the entire simulation. It tells you what the peak instantaneous value is and a couple of minimum and maximums. This is not particularly interesting because our fan was on the entire time. We'll come back to this and, and look at it in the context of some more realistic simulations.